Hey guys, uh, Paul from Green Dragon. Uh, here at the store today to go some, over some of those options we were talking about for the 4x7 space. Uh, do a quick walk through the store and then get right into our, our different options for the reflectors, ballasts, and bulbs. So uh, come and check it out. We're here at uh, 57 Crescent Boulevard in Gloucester City. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday. Close Saturdays and then open Sunday 11.30 to 4.30. This is our space here. As you can see, we stock a ton of products from um, all the major companies and uh, a lot of independent companies as well. This little tent grow we got going on. Some uh, cherry branches and forsythia, just force blooming under a LED. Use some eggplants here and some water water farm buckets. Um, yeah, like I said, we work with uh, Gen Hydro, Botanicare, uh, Cutting Edge, Fox Farm, Earth Juice, um, a lot of independent companies too, microbes, then advanced nutrients, of course, Veg Bloom. We also do uh, CO2 swaps. There's house and garden nutrients. Carry everything you need for ventilation, flood tables and um, hydroponic fittings, T5 fluorescence. Whatever we don't need, we can get in stock within a week. Um, so when talking about our four x seven space, like I, I mentioned, it's a little bit of an awkward space. So. Um, choosing the lighting is, is uh, and the re reflector specifically is, is a, um, an interesting task to me. So um, just quickly go over some of the options we have in stock. Uh, first one would be like, a, this is an older, older style cool tube. Um, they do come with a uh, reflector that comes, uh, an aluminum reflector that looks similar to, to that, that clips onto the top. So. Um, this cool tube for a four by seven space, if you're only one, running one, you probably need it to be a thousand watt light and um, be put on a mover, uh, like a light rail or something like that. The uh, second option I might consider is uh, these older, again, an older style umbrella reflector. Um, this obviously hangs the bulb vertically, so you can actually bring that a little bit closer to the plants. Definitely throws the light in all directions, so, um, a lot of people use them for veg spaces. Um, it might be a little bit inefficient for our space, which is like pretty much an exact four by seven. I think a rectangular um, reflector would, would be a better fit. Um, this is as simple as it gets, the old style economy reflector. And then step up, this, is, this might be a consideration. Um, it has a horizontal bulb mounting. Um, if it's stationary, these are these are actually meant to be for higher ceilings, maybe 10 feet. Our ceiling's about seven feet, so um, not a great option, but um, if you have a, a larger space, um, it'll definitely throw light out and try to keep that rectangular pattern. This is a pretty standard uh, Sun System six inch reflector. Um, nice thing about these reflectors versus the um, the cool tubes are that the there's mounting hardware or um, screws here so that you can uns unscrew it open it clean it every time in between cycles or however much once twice a week as much as you need to keep that glass clean and the efficiency high um, that's an eight inch um, reflector now they were lumi now they're uh, the extra suns are um, from hydrofarm this is a um, six inch raptor reflector which which is definitely a, a consideration for our space um, really nice large spread um, throws the light out in a nice pattern these are definitely becoming more popular in the past years um, six inch air cooled all you need to do is put a, a fan on either side and run ducting so it'll it'll vent out the um, heat similar to the the other reflectors and the cool tubes those do the same thing um, so um, 
some that we probably aren't going to consider, but uh, just thought I'd mention are new LECs or uh, ceramic metal halides also. These are, um, this is a 630 watt fixture. It has two bulbs in there, enclosed ballast. I'll turn this on a second. Um, it takes a minute to warm up, but um, this technology I think is, is becoming um, more widely adopted and um, it has a really nice spectrum. Sim they're trying to imitate daylight and um, it also has IR in the spectrum, which is a little bit different from the regular single-ended bulbs. If you take this glass panel off, you can use for, for finishing, um, which is really nice. They're not cheap, but uh, a 630 watt almost covers a four by four, similar to a thousand watt. So you you gain a lot in efficiency and um, savings on cooling and electricity. So um, similar to like an LED technology where um, you're paying more upfront to have better savings in the long run. Um, Another that uh, we probably won't consider for the space, but figure I'd show you real quick are just the uh, commercial double-ended systems. This is a, a phantom ballast and reflector. These are meant for uh, ceilings over 10 feet high. Definitely getting the best production off of these, um, but you need a, a really high ceiling because they kick out a ton of heat. Um, they're bulbs that they fire from both ends, and um, people are getting the best results out of these systems and uh, trying to replicate a lot of the results with single-ended bulbs and it's it's pretty difficult to beat the technology um, as far as ballasts go start with the cheapest option um, these are magnetic ballasts um, this is a old style uh, core and coil ballast that um, has become less popular um, as electronic technology has taken over. Um, it's definitely more efficient. You have more options with electronic ballasts. Um, they have like intelligent settings, um, but these convertible um, magnetic ballasts, if you want to save a few dollars, you can deal with um, the additional humming that it might, or heat that it might put out. Um, these are the downsides to running a magnetic, but you save money and upfront costs. And, um, you know, if, if it's uh, worth it and you can work around it, then there's, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, this is an example of an electronic ballast, also by Extrasun. Um, nice feature on these is that they have a uh, wattage selectable. So you can put a 400, 600, 750 or 1000 watt bulb in these ballasts and they'll run fine HPS or metal halide um, They also have a 1000 watt boost mode um, Which I'll talk about in a minute, but um, This essentially overdrives your bulbs and then also uh, by hydrofarm we have um, Phantom 2 ballasts in stock uh, 250 4, 400 600 or 1000 watt these, these have what I was talking about, the um, intelligent uh, electronics that have certain features like um, uh, they don't do hot starts on bulbs. So if your, your power is, goes out and then kicks back on, it waits to turn the bulb back on, which helps from uh, that. That'll kind of destroy your bulb if, if you turn it off and then on back um, really quick. So that would prevent those. Um, it also has a dimmable feature so these are meant for thousand watt bulbs, but you can dim down a thousand watt bulb. It also has the super setting for uh, overdrive. These are the most um, reliable ballasts out of these options. Um, totally silent, totally efficient. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like the Cadillac of ballasts. So if you want to pay a little bit extra money and have those features, then, then it'll definitely be worth it. Um, as far as bulbs go, carry extra sun and ultra sun bulbs. Um, they're they're pretty quality bulbs. I've used them myself. They're more on the cheaper option. It's it's um, kind of where uh, you save save money up front, and the quality of the spectrum is a little bit less than um, the leaders in the industry. Um, a step up from these would be a, a Digilux bulb, and these are really nice they get good uh, par ratings 
and the Spectrum is also about 10% uh, better than um, your standard uh, HPS or metal halide bulb. And then um, the leader of the industry has been for, for many near years now is a Hortilux bulb. Um, the quality of Spectrum, the, um, the PAR readings that you get off of these, about 10% higher than even the Digilux. So if you want to pay the extra money and go for quality, that's, that's where to go as far as a single-ended bulb. Um, Cost-wise, you're looking at uh, 50, um, about 55 retail, Hortilux retail for 130, we sell them for 110. And then last option, which is pretty new technology that I'm, pretty, that I'm interested in. These are HyperArc bulbs. They run a true 1100 watts um, and are boasting a 2380 on the micromoles, which is competitive with Hortilux and the double-ended uh, commercial systems. Um, they work with the overdrive features, the high-frequency ballast that... Um, Essentially, if you run a thousand watt bulb and you put it on that thousand watt boost setting, it's going to wear on your bulbs and you're going to you're going to burn through your bulbs a lot quicker. So the HyperArc essentially runs at 1100 watts, gets the most amount of um, pars out of a um, out of a bulb possible um, with with these type of ballasts, the thousand watt ballast. Um, to show you real quick, this ceramic light is warmed up and um, you can see the spectrum is not like it's more whitish than HPS. Um, it's definitely, this is about a four x four. It's definitely crushing this four x four. Really bright, really nice penetration. Um, I do believe in this technology and I think that over time it's gonna, the price is gonna drop on them as, as, um, as adoption takes in. Um, they're great for shorter, shorter ceilings. Um, this one here, the sun system, is air-cooled, although I think they're discontinuing these. The sun system run Philips ballast and bulbs, which I, I'm pretty sure right now are the leader in the industry as far as quality and reliability when it comes to ceramic metal halide technology. So um, definitely check them out, although we're not considering it for, for our 4x7. Um, it's a good option just in general for growers. Um, so when it comes to our four by seven space, um, I think we're gonna allocate money in different spaces where um, possibly we could save money on a ballast or bulb, might put it into a reflector to totally cover that space or a, a light mover like I said. Um, four by seven is, is not an exact um, <laughs> footprint and most thousand watt bulbs would cover a four by four so we're kind of on the cusp where we can't fit in two 1000 watt lights be overkill um, or even two 600s you're spending extra money maybe just put one 1000 on a light mover would um, probably be our best option so um, it's a lot to consider and we'll we'll take a look at our budget in the next one and um, go over those those lighting options um so yeah thanks a lot for watching and um if you like the episode definitely hit the subscribe button or check us out on facebook our um, website is greendragonhydroponics.com all right thanks a lot for watching see you on the next one